You have been away for almost more than a year now. now a year now. 2007, yeah. you left Malaysia. Um, many people are wondering how you have been sustaining yourself, Veda. So how have you been sustaining yourself? Um, I, I, uh, I have been using my personal funds for a long time. Um, I have exhausted almost all my savings, my wife's savings, my wife's uh, jewellery. Uh, my mom has given me some money. Uh, apart from that, uh, I have uh, a few well wishes. You know, the living cost in London uh, is not cheap, especially accommodation. And I had a well wisher um, from Malaysia who actually um, uh, uh, covered uh, my um, rental expenses for a year. And uh, I even had uh, a well wisher in England who, who sustained me for, for the first three months that I was uh, in London. Uh, apart from that, you know, um, as I said, I've been using my personal funds. Okay. There has been an accusation that money collected by Hindra in Malaysia have been used to sustain your stay overseas. Is there a truth in that? Um, yes. I th How much of money has been collected? Okay. So I think there's some confusion there because uh, uh, you may remember uh, prior to the ISARS in December, there was uh, an interview with Uday Kumar and a question was asked uh, what was he going to do with the 200 odd thousand that was collected um, uh, in the name of Hindraf then and he had said out of the 200 odd thousand that was collected that he, um, he was going to allocate 50,000 uh, to me to do international lobby that was uh, uh, that statement was issued by him um, after the allegation of LTT was uh, you know um, um, thrown at us so there was uh, an, uh, 50,000 allocated for me to do the work, but uh, um, we never had time to actually um, uh, use that money because the money was in Malaysia. And uh, after that, I just continued doing whatever I could from, from England. After the arrest of five under ISA, after you all left, uh, you left Malaysia to UK. Uh, money was still being collected in the name of Indra among uh, your coordinators from the public until you issued a statement I think saying that no money is being collected in the name of Hindra. Am mm -hmm. I right? Um, see, um, uh, after November 25th, on the 26th of November, while I was still in detention, um, um, uh, text messages were sent around mm -hmm. um, that uh, we were collecting, Hindra was collecting funds to bail out those hundreds of people who were arrested. Um, so through text messages, the news went out and money was banked into uh, Hindraf Enterprise. Hindraf Enterprise was the idea of uh, Vasanda Kumar, but of course, uh, um, eventually we agreed uh, with him and uh, since he was a banker mm -hmm. um, and uh, um, we, we left it to him to open up uh, that account. So he formed a company, an enterprise, Hindraf Enterprise, and he was able to open an account um, and uh, we used that account to collect funds. So the day funds were collected, I was in custody. And uh, two days later, I had left the country. So whatever funds that was collected was in the Hindraf Enterprise account, which I think he, he withdrew most of the funds and he placed it in uh, reliable uh, individuals, in the hands of reliable individuals, which included uh, my family members, uh, Ganabadi Rao's brother, Raidu, and Uday Kumar's clerk, you know, for the purposes of using the funds to bail out those who were arrested. And uh, two days later, I had left the country. So at no point of time did I ever hold any amount of money in my hands. And the fact is, um, after they were arrested on December 13, uh, we made a fresh appeal uh, to the people uh, to, to fund us to sustain uh, the five, all right? And uh, some was collected from December 13 right up to January 14th, if I'm not mistaken. Um, close to about, I think, uh, about 12,000. At that point of time, um, when the five were arrested, um, Hindraf Enterprise account was already frozen. All right, so we need to sustain the five. So I had actually uh, asked people to, to bank in into this. Uh, account. Uh, at that point of time, I could only think of the Kumar's account, mm -hmm. and uh, they banked in into the Kumar's account. 
and within a month um, uh, or rather three weeks, within three weeks, suddenly Vasna Kumar uh, lodged a police report that uh, uh, close to I think 700,000 was uh, collected and you know um, uh, and that we had misused the funds which came as a shock to, to, to me and many others. So immediately thereafter I had suspended all collections and I had instructed and issued press statements that whoever who wishes to uh, donate or contribute can do so directly to the respective families. So technically or rather uh, practically on the 14th of uh, January we had stopped all forms of collection. So the collections that was done between the 13th of December right up to the 14th of January uh, was uh, withdrawn from Udaykumar's account and uh, kept separately. How uh, much was that? Um, that is about, I think about 12,000 odd, um, whatever the sum is, you know, yeah. it's about 12,000 was collected. Okay. But in the interim, we had given each family 5,000 ringgit okay. um, uh, from the initial funds mm -hmm. that we had. We had given each family 5,000 ringgit. Yeah. So, um, as time went on, uh, are you saying that your coordinators uh, in Malaysia did not involve in any public collection? No, I, I had uh, I had uh, strictly instructed them not to do any form of collection for the benefit of the five. All right. But we did organize uh, nationwide fundraising mm -hmm. dinners. That was meant, uh, we were very clear in all dinners, we did announce publicly that the, the fundraising dinner is, is, is uh, organized to collect funds to carry on with NREF's work, particularly to carry on the work of getting the five released and to carry on Hindra's activities. How much money was collected from? Um, I think a total of about five states organized mm -hmm. uh, fundraising dinners and uh, each state uh, could collect between uh, the minimum they collected I think was about uh, 5,000 okay. and uh, it went up right to Negris Milan I think had the highest about 12,000 so total I think about uh, 50 odd thousand mm -hmm. I'm saying this because I'm out of the country I, I don't yeah, you know I so I think about 50 odd thousand were collected for hindra activities how about sales of merchandise uh, t-shirts were being sold photos of the five were being sold uh, booklets were being sold it, they were all sold under the name of hindra actually who was actually doing all this whose work is it we, we do not have control uh, I was told during Taipusam mm. festival last year, that was two months after the five were released, thousands of t-shirts were sold, you know, by individuals in Batu Caves, you know. We do not know who they are, you know. Uh, many items were, yeah. were, were sold. So in, in, a, in a way, we did not object to it because as far as we are concerned, somebody is doing something to promote the cause of Hindra as well as the, the release of the five. During the general election, did Hindra receive any or financial aid from any of the political parties? Not at all, not at all. Um, thousands of our volunteers went to the ground with their own funds, um, uh, with their own transport to campaign for the opposition party upon my instructions. All right. Now, I'm asking all this because uh, one of uh, Hindra's legal advisor, Ganapati Rao, had accused that he had used up millions of ringgit collected from people. Millions of ringgit, I must stress that. Would you like to comment on that? I'm I'm shocked with Ganabadi Rao's uh, accusation. I think it is uh, a malicious accusation. I think it's very unfair to claim that I had collected. I was not even in the country, and um, the uh, the only thing that uh, my Hindra coordinators organised was the nationwide uh, fundraising dinner, which was open and public. And each and every dinner is uh, videotaped, is recorded and the purpose of the uh, event uh, you know is, is expl explained clearly to the people so where he plugged out millions i honestly do not know but you do admit that there is a possibility of others using the name of hindra without your approval or your coordinator's approval been collecting money uh, for their own benefit maybe is no, i i think um very few individuals like the example I told you during Taibusam, I know you know some people sold some T-shirts. Even uh, during uh, there, there is a festival in Tuluintan, apparently a famous. I can't remember what's the name of the festival. Somebody went there and sold some T-shirts. These are all small level, mm -hmm. you know. But I don't think even Hindraf on its own is not able to collect much funds. So I don't think individuals would be able to collect. Okay.